And now, storm tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. Tomorrow, an extra, extra bad hair day. A little more than just what we've had in the wind department lately. Winds are going to be up quite a bit. Uh, the wind advisory issued by the National Weather Service starts at noon. So around lunchtime, you'll notice the wind really picking up. And it will end until 9 o'clock. We could see gusts as high as 45 miles per hour. And that is certainly enough to get your attention if you're towing a trailer or you're in a high-profile vehicle. Sustained winds will be 30 to 35 miles per hour out of the southwest. And it's for the Snake River Plain. Storm Tracker, well, nothing too stormy out there right now. We could see some snow showers develop overnight, isolated over the uh, highlands in western Wyoming. You can see some extra clouds kind of banked up in that direction, clearing off towards the west. Our flow is coming in from the northwest, so we get these raggedy clouds, and some of them have a little bit of moisture with them, but this northwest flow is pushing off towards the northeast as a warm front starts trekking this way, and it's that warm front tomorrow that will give us the wind, the extra wind in the Pocatello and Idle Falls area, and warmer temperatures. We're going to see a lot of us tomorrow in the 60s. We're not there right now, though. We're right at 50 in Pocatello. 56 in Logan. Burns over in Oregon, they're at 60. Some of that headed our way. 52, as I mentioned earlier, in Salmon Stanley at 43. It looks like the temperature up in West Yellowstone, just a few degrees above freezing at 37 degrees. So tonight's forecast, mostly cloudy. We'll see a low of 37 in Pocatello tonight. So we're a little warmer than last night. Uh, most of us should stay above freezing, barely above freezing in Idle Falls. It'll still be freezing cold in Rexburg and St. Anthony, but at least you won't be in the 20s. I know. <laughs> we're silver lining the cloud, if you will. Mostly cloudy for the Central Mountains. A few of us will stay above freezing. Definitely salmon with a low of 36. Uh, for the highlands in western Wyoming, isolated snow showers will develop overnight with the greatest threat right along the Tetons. So near the Tetons, we could see a little shower wander around. Jackson, Island Park, Driggs, certainly. A uh, Yellowstone could see a snow shower overnight with a low of 17. And that's better than it was last night, temperature-wise. Highlands in western Wyoming, umbrella weather, possibly. We got a, a chance of some rain and snow out there. High temperatures will be warmer than this afternoon. They'll range from the upper 30s to the lower 50s. For the central mountains, look at that. Salmon tomorrow. 62, 10 degrees warmer. Chalice at 61. And for the Snake River Plain, 60 will be the high in Otto Falls. 62 in Pocatello. And it's just too bad we have that. Very windy weather, especially in the afternoon, evening. We'll back off with a little bit of that wind in Saturday, but still enough to notice. And unfortunately, we'll back off in the temperature department. No 60s, a chance you could need your umbrella Saturday. Sunday for Easter Day, looking pretty dry, high up to about 63. And then bobbing back down again with a, a chance of rain on Monday and a bunch more wind. Idle Falls seven day forecast. Warmest day coming up, at least uh, here in the next few days, will be tomorrow and Sunday. And then we'll get a little cooler. Could see some rain Monday and Wednesday with temperatures back up in the 60s next Thursday. Teton area, rain and snow possible tomorrow. Rain and snow likely Saturday. Rain on Sunday. Rain and snow on Monday with a chance of just rain on Wednesday. Seven-day forecast for the Central Mountains. We're dry for the next couple of days. We got 61 tomorrow. Not going to see 60s again, though, until next Thursday after tomorrow. Could see some rain on Sunday and rain and snow. A good possibility for your Monday. 